Hello, I'm back again. So today I'm rolling up and rolling out umbilical pipe to spread slurry in the field just to the left of me right now. So I'm spreading from the farm down there, it's a fair pump. We use 6 inch and 4 inch pipes. This is our reeler. We can get a fair amount of pipe on this thing like I don't know if you can see or not, but that pipe there on the left is starting to come undone. Because I tied a shite knot. Bugger. This is our TM140. She's some yoke. Good hardy old tractor. There's our adapter, 6 inch to 4 inch pipe. And that's the motor that drives the chain that turns the, the reel. And that changes the direction that it pulls or allows the pipe to roll out. So I've just rolled that pipe up and now I'm going to roll it back out, so I need to reconnect the pipes up with my latches. Quite straightforward. Now I'm going through next door to drive up to the faraway corner. Change the direction of my reeler. Get in the Well, she kind of is, but she's some fucking machine man. Brilliant machine. She's done just over 7,000 hours. said before, some machine. As you can see just there that the lever's in dump so that I can just drive along and it'll roll itself out. Those of you that are wondering if there's a slurry ban in Scotland, there is not unless you're in an NVZ, which we are not. An NVZ stands for Nitrogen Vulnerable Zone. But we do need to comply with some rules, which means, well, use your common sense. Then he let it run away to the burn. So it's currently dry, so it'll manage to soak into the ground and it'll help for next year by putting nutrients into the soil. There are some wet bits at the moment, just with the amount of rain we've had, but in general the fields are not too bad. The good thing about this field is, next year we're ploughing it and putting it into barley, so it doesn't matter just as much. So that was that fat pipe rolled out and now I've got my adapter on. As you can see a wee wet bit there, it's getting a wee bit brown. So I. I roll out the pipes diagonally across the field up to the top, do a wee swoop round and then drive back down a wee bit and then that's generally the kind of length I get. We've got a 70-30 down the road on the pump, a big Doda pump. 
very strong machine to pump at this distance. As you can see I've now turned and I'm now rolling it back down the hill a wee bitty. After this I'll go jump down and get my splash plate. Here's the 7040. That's what I use on the splash plate. I use it because it's got the big wide wheels. It's got seven tens in the back, so it makes a big difference to compaction and everything like. So that's it hitched up. We made our own splash plate because the old one was buggered, so we just put some bars of metal across it. So makes a big difference. Some machine. So right now I'm waiting on the slurry getting pumped up. Right now I'm waiting on the slurry coming up. The feather's got the 7030 on the pump and it should be coming up the hill anytime soon. So I just need to wait on it coming. Dad phoned me and cut it off, so here we are, I'm spreading now, as you can see, it's spreading quite well, quite watery because of the amount of rain we've had, but we've mixed it in our slurry store and we're going to get some slurry hoot. Drop my phone, Egypt. You can see a couple more wet bits, but in general the field's quite dry. So aye, thanks for joining.